the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame. fame, fame. What up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back once again, coming to you from Fishing Planet. All right, guys, we doing another hot spot video, and as you can see, I have a unique lake trout, 40 pounder, 1800, oh my goodness, 618 XP. And we coming from White Moose Lake. This is one of my favorite lakes, one of my favorite lakes. I spent the most time at this lake. It's good money. In a good amount of time and every now and then if your keep net can hold it you'll catch these unique lake trout now i've already did a video it has a lot of views thank you to everybody who's viewed my videos and made them some of the most popular videos on youtube thank you the video i did previously you can go back and watch it it does work and i use different lure but at the time i made it the biggest fish at the lake was only about 20 pounds and they've since updated and you can catch over 40 pounds you'll catch these unique lake trout but you can still go back and use it because that's good starter beginner bait or lures that you use when you come to it it's a great lure but i'm gonna show you what i use and show you the techniques that i use then if these videos help you hit that like button for me right now go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you are not subscribed i still have fishing planning videos that i do share this share this so others can view this share it on your different social media sites for me share it on youtube and hit me in that comment box guys let me know that this video helps you all right Let's jump into it. Now, as you can see, it's 8 a.m. You start at six. I've already caught 127 pounds of fish, almost half of my 330 pound keep net, all right? My keep net is a max of 55, so that's big enough. Before I expanded my keep net, I would lose these uniques. I would catch them and I couldn't even keep them because it only had a max of about 33. So some of them will be too large. This is the type of fish you're gonna get and look in this amount of time. I've maxed out if you got a 200 pound keep net or so, you can fill that up in two hours, okay? And make you around $10,000, all right? And you can do that a few times, go to the next day and make a ton of money, okay? I am at a peak time, but these techniques work throughout the whole day, okay? They work through the whole day. Let's go ahead and look at the gear. I'm using a Bass Caster 7 foot 10 inch. This is a great rod. It's great for this lake. It's a 9 to 24 pound. So it will reel those 40 pounders in. It'll take a minute, but you'll only fight. The fight only lasts about five minutes with this rod, even when you get a 40 pounder. It's not an hour fight per se. It only takes about five real life minutes, maybe 10 max. You'll wear the fish down and you'll be able to reel them in. I'm using the Counselor 3500S for my reel. It's a 22 pound as well. So you wanna get something about in that area. This works well for me. You could go up a little bit to match that 24. I'm using Braid. I also like to use Fluoro though. I also like to use Fluoro, but Braid does well. Braid has a very long distance that it'll go out. So I like to use the Braid. Now I'm using a Trophy Bullet Spinner. Now this trophy bullet spinner is an exclusive lure that you have to win doing missions. If you want to see the missions and how to complete it, hit me in the comment box. I completed this. I did keep the footage. I'll put it up and explain you how to do it. You may be able to even reset it. I'll check on that. All right guys, so we're about to go out and fish and do our techniques. Now you want to fish from the fisherman's hut. This is right here off of this pier. You can fish down here too, but there are other fish you'll catch down here. We'll do that in another video. You also can look at your time of day, as I said, but in this lake time of day doesn't really matter. You'll catch fish all day, but the peak times you'll catch more. Now, the other thing I want to tell you that most people don't mention, rooms. Go down here to rooms. Never fish in random rooms when you're grinding, all right? Never fish when you're farming. Go to a new private room. I personally get the best luck and catch the most fish when I'm in a private room. When I'm in these random rooms, it takes longer. Okay, it seems to take a lot longer to catch fish. Also, if you're not getting bites, if you're using these techniques and they work and you're not getting bites, sometimes you just gotta quit the game and come back in. Don't leave the lake, okay? A lot of people don't know when you're first starting, don't leave the lake, just go to quit. Just go to quit, hit here, leave the game, okay? That's what you do. Don't leave the lake. You can't quit. You'll come right back at the lake. I do it all the time. You can keep fishing. Otherwise, you'll have to pay to return to the lake, all right? So you want to come over here, and anywhere in this area, 
you'll catch fish. I get the best luck about here, but you can even fish towards these uh, fire, uh, these campfires that are over here. You can fish over those ways here in the middle. You will catch other fish, but we'll cast about here, throw it as far as you can. Again, I'm using the Trophy Bullet Spinner, one at one fourth ounce, four aught, and I won this doing the mission. So again, let me know in the comment box if you want to see. Now what we're doing, we're twitching. It's technically a lift and drop, but I lift and then I reel down. Lift and I reel down. Don't wait till it sinks to the bottom. I let it hit and wait a couple seconds and then I start this. Now there's another twitch style. Bam, look, we already got a hit. We already got a hit. You wanna be on real speed too? And you will catch biggins. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's running. It is running. Even when I try to reel it, it doesn't just keep going. Let's see. Okay, he's coming in. So he might only be a 10, 12. Five. Nope. Look, look. He's going back the other way. He's going back the other way. Come on. Come on. Yes, but being in your own room. Okay, he's smaller than, than uh, one would think. He might only be about 10 pounds or so. 10, 15 pounds max. Let's see. Let us see. Oh, bam. That's an Atlantic salmon. Look, 10 pounds, like eight and a half. And I'm doing white moose trout right now, so I'm knocking these off as well. I'm going to probably get a brook trout, but I don't know about the lake whitefish. I might have to do a different technique for that. All right, bam. So we're going to keep that. Again, we're going to go back to a similar area. We're going to throw. We want to cast. Sometimes I'll do multiple techniques in one cast. So for instance, now, if you hit the trigger or whatever your button is to, to lift up the strike, then you reel and reel. Do it like you're doing stop and go. That's a twitch also. And you just reel and reel. You get hits like this too, so you can try these different techniques. But I like to do the one here where I reel down. So I lift up, reel down. Lift up, let it go and reel down. Lift up, it's still a twitch, but it's like a different variant. When you do this, sometimes I like to lift and hold it for a second, then go down. Lift and hold it for a second, then go down. And you can do it faster. You see, once it hits the ground, it becomes lift and drop, but it'll still do twitch. Now, if you're on the ground and you want to get it up, hold it up, and then just keep reeling. And you see that? You can still get it off the ground, and it'll start twitching in that manner. And bam, look at that. Look at that. Got a hit right there at 80. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see how he fighting, okay. Oh yeah, he's he's running a little bit. Um, okay, we reeling him in. He's fighting just a little bit, come on. Come on, come to your home, come to your home. Yeah, this may be another one that's only about 10 pounds or so. Come to your home. Come on in, come on in. Okay, he putting up a little fight. So again, he, he might be about 15. He might be about 15. Come on. Yeah, yeah, he is not coming easy. And guys, if this helps you, again, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Share this so others can uh, use this. Hit me in that comment box, guys. Hit me in the comment box. Let me know what your biggest catches are. Let me know which techniques you use and which ones work the best for you. Let me know if you started using spinners. I really got into spinners at some of the other lakes like Colorado and uh, North Carolina and Falcon Lake. I got a Falcon Lake video about to come out too. I've actually had that one ready for a while. I just had to finish it up. Uh, but I, I actually got that footage a while back and I just hadn't released it. But yeah, we'll do Falcon Lake too. Uh, my Colorado one is good. Again, those aren't the hugest fish. It takes a while, but you can make good money and it's cheap to go there. Look at that 11 pound lake trout, bam. Bam, 530. I mean, 500, 500, 500 a whop. Like, you make good money at this one. And you can fill your net in like a half a day. In less than a half a day. A half a work day. I filled my net, especially when I had a 200 pound net, in a couple hours. Uh, excuse me. We'll say you start at five. I have filled a 200 pound net by nine o'clock, cashed out for like 10,000. Did it again by nine o'clock, cashed out. Well, I made 20, 30,000 in one sitting. And you know, that only takes a, an hour or two of real life, um, where some lakes it takes a long time, you know, even emerald. So once you're able to come to this lake, this is a great farm. 
cost is kind of in the middle it's a little bit expensive but if you got time to sit here and really grind it out you'll earn your money back tenfold so again i'm twitching look at that bam doing my lift reel technique lift reel down and this works on other areas okay when you, with spinners i use this with the spinners even the little regular spinner the i think it's a barbless spinner um it's a couple other spinners i have to show you but this technique works well oh this is gonna be a big one and you keep doing this you are going to eventually catch a 20 pounder a 30 pounder and maybe a 40 pounder the 40 pounder as long as you have this uh, 20 pound weight you can reel it in it'll just take a while you know and it doesn't take a long time but maybe five to ten minutes of real life which isn't super long now if you had a 30 pound reel you would reel it in a lot faster you know and i think they have up to a 40 pound but yes but look at this yeah he had 130 something feet he's still fighting one thing i recommend when you're reeling in with these big ones i know that it wears down your reel to just keep reeling like this but keep pumping pump it but hold it up and then reel down pump it but hold it up i used to reel and then i would let go and just hold it and then maybe reel down but the fish will get off the hook more even if you try to use things that are more realistic don't worry about realism <laughs> just keep holding that trigger keep it held up in the strike position and reel then reel down sometimes hold it up let the left trigger go hold it up let the left uh trigger if you're on controller go come on in again this is one of my favorite lakes uh for farming i do like north carolina i do like falcon and colorado the, the fish just don't get as big you know the max might be a five pounder maybe a 10 this lake has much bigger fish again you get these 40 pounders so you'll make more money in a short amount of time but those lakes are fun to fish uh casually or if you want to do a grind where your costs don't cost as much you know if you got to leave and you can't come back and your license expires it only costs you know 400 for the license 500 for the license it's a lot cheaper than this license that costs four thousand if I don't sit here and continue to fish and earn that 4000 back, you waste it. Say you buy the license, fish for 30 minutes, and then you get busy and you never make it back. You really have to plan out your trip. And I may do a video talking about that. Where like You really got to plan when you're going to go and put some time into these, uh, these lakes with bigger fish. Because you have to, or these more expensive lakes, because you have to earn your money back. You have to earn that license money back. And then you have to earn that fee back that you have to pay for the next day, which ends up being about 5000 at this one. But if I sit and I catch even the amount of fish we just caught, if I catch a 40 pounder and if I catch two or three of those ones that earn 500, now you've made your money back. Not everything is profit after that. Woo. It's getting close. This joint is heavy. Okay, now look, you see it's at 15. I can't even get it to 12. It's so heavy. I have to look down. You have to look down and look at him. Look at him hanging there. He dancing, 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 dancing. It's a dancing fish. Oh, baby. Shoo bop, shoo bop. Okay, let's get him in. <laughs> Woo, 32, 32, 1500, 32, 1493. Wow. You know, when we first started out, we had a, a 2000er. But yeah, this is good in itself. 1500. Woo. Woo. That is good money. Man, y'all got to get to this lake. Y'all got to get to this lake. Take my word for it. This is the lake. This is the lake. All right, we're going to go back to the well right here by these few little trees. Let's cast it on out. All right, we let it hit. And even sometimes I started off with some twitching. Stop and go actually works too, but with the hold it up twitching, twitching in this manner, do it about 130, maybe 120. And then I reel down and lift, 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 reel down and lift. Now, they may have, with the updates, made the time. Uh, oh, look, I was just about to say, maybe they made it where you don't get as, the bites as much due to the time. 
um, due to peak times and fish bites because this always works for me all day long. You will get bites all day long. But it looks like <laughs> I thought they were going to prove me right. But they, they said, nah, you can still catch all day long. You can still catch them all day long. Uh-oh, maybe this is a brook trout. Is this a brook trout? I do know how to catch some of those other ones, even with bait. Come on. And like brook trout and some of those other ones, actually when you get in the boat on the other side, they're very prevalent over near the other shore by those campfires. Uh-oh, there's another big one because he running. He running. This one's going to take a while. I think I edit this one, and then we, we'll make this the last one. There are other lure types that I want to show y'all, but I just wanted to focus on this one for this video because this trophy bullet spinner is a beast. And then just showing you these techniques. And some of these techniques will be the same with the other ones because, again, other spinners work as well. Some of the early spinners you can buy that may be only a 3 ot or a 2 ot they work. Just apply these techniques to the spinner that you have and try to get this trophy bullet spin. Now you do have to travel to three different lakes. I believe it's Naharan, Falcon, and or Colorado, and here at Alberta. But once you catch the fish that are on the list, you'll catch this uh, and get this trophy bullet spinner. And this is a great, great lure. This is a great lure. Yeah, my reel is uh, wearing down. I only got about 8%. I'm gonna just keep fishing. I wonder what would happen if it breaks and actually your reel won't break until your day ends. So let's say you got a reel. If you didn't know and you're like, oh man, it's down to two or three, let me repair it. You don't have to repair it. If it drops to zero while you're fishing, the game won't like just stop your day or say your line is broken. No, you'll keep fishing and I'll, I'll probably put that in the video, but uh, you'll keep fishing to the end of that day. And then once you go to the next day, then you can't use your reel until you get another one. Or they penalize you. It's either a penal penalty or it's like, yeah, it's just broken, you know, until you repair it. So that's why we got to grind and earn as much money as we can right now. And then we can repair that reel because it's probably going to cost two, three thousand, maybe four thousand, which will cut into our money. It will cut into our money. But we get in that money. We get into the money. We get into that money. If you get into that money, let me know. Hit me in that comment box if you get into the money at this lake. This is one of the best farms for the value. For the value. All right, so I'm going to reel this one in. We're going to look at it and see how big it is. Again, it looks like it's another 30 plus, maybe mid 20s. Uh, maybe 25 pounder or so. Definitely over 20. It might get over 30 again. I don't think it's a 40 this time. But we shall see. We shall see. All right, guys. I think we finally got him. Let's see if we can see him down here. Look, he another dead weight one. A lunker. A lunker. Ooh, another 30 pounder. Look at that back to back 30 pounders. Look at us. I think they were back to back. Did I catch a 20 something? Yes. Back to back 30 plus pounders, man. Woo, we are making that money. Trophy Lake Trout's all over the place. All right, guys, so let me look at what we have in our inventory real quick. Let's see how much we have caught. It is 747, okay? And I about dozed off with falling asleep playing this late at night, so I let a little bit of time go by. So we'll say in technically two hours, two and a half, even though it's been three. Check out our inventory. We already have made $4,000. So I've already made back the cost of the trip. Look at what you make this quickly. So in another, we'll just say three hours, uh, which would be around noon, we would have already made about 8,000, almost 9,000. And you'll probably catch a 40 pounder in there, which you earned 2,000 from. So this is a great lake, okay? This is a great lake. And then for you guys who are coming here, if you didn't see my old video and go check that out, the red medium spoon, the red tiger, that is the lure you want to use when you first come here. Do the exact thing I showed you, but do stop and go instead of uh, the lift and drop or the twitch with the red tiger. Use the biggest one you can, a three aught, four aught when you're able to, because once you uh, get up enough level, you can get the four aught. Use the biggest one that you have available, this red medium spoon. The yellow one works a little bit, the lemon 
the red tiger is the one you want to just continually use and then you can fish with live bait as well to catch other fish all right all right guys so we are going to get up out of here if this video helps you hit that like button guys hit that like button hit me in that comment box and let me know if you got the trophy spinner if you tried this with other spinners let me know what type of catches you've made how much money you've earned here let me know that this helps you guys also subscribe if you are not subscribed and share this so others can check this out again i want to thank you guys for helping make my fish and planet video be some of the number one videos on youtube so keep making that money keep them lines tight all right and if you really want to support and you like the channel you like what i do and you want me to be able to continue to make more of these because i will make other videos i'm gonna do more videos from this lake just showing everything at this lake getting on the boat fishing on the other side other techniques um other lures catching pike down at the other end i'll do all that but if you want to support that check out this promo that i got coming up all right and again i want to thank you guys i want y'all to if you don't do nothing else make your next move your best move and I want to thank you again, Charles Macro, Fish and Planet. Thank you for stopping through, guys. And I'm going to holler at you. So, guys, before we go, I wanted to thank you one more time for supporting Charles Macro and the Macro Elite. You are elevating your logic, your intellect, and your thinking every day. Now, if you want to support, there are other ways that you can do so. So, check out this little promo, and it'll tell you some ways that you can truly be down. And thank you once again. And for you guys that want to support further, go to charlesmacro.com slash shop. There you can buy t-shirts, you can buy other merch like coffee mugs, onesies, bargains, caps. You also can support by buying and checking out my music. I have the I Run The Game album that is out on all the digital retailers, the iTunes, the Spotify's. And in fact, if you're on Spotify, go on there. I run the game, the album, Charles Macro Music. Look that up and add me to a playlist, all right? That will help me get up on the charts as well and earn money off that music if you're feeling it like you're feeling the intro, okay? And go subscribe to the new Charles Macro Music channel, all right? You also can hit my Amazon affiliate links down below. You don't have to buy any of those products. Just click the link, then buy whatever you were planning to buy. That helps me get a little love, okay? Then we have Patreon, Cash App, YouTube membership program. I'm going to be getting subscribe stars soon if you want to support that way. Of course, I'm on IG, Twitter, Discord, Facebook. Any of those social medias you want to follow me on, see some other things, some pictures, some, some regular life stuff, my photography business, a uh, video, go on, on there, follow, like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys once again just for the support. Charles Macro, thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.